I talk, you listen. Welcome to my one-man panel of madness. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Gio Hu, and I'm hoping that you are staying safe. And as I mentioned before, today I'm talking about Star Wars, The High Republic, which admittedly I don't really like the name The High Republic because it just makes you think that these Jedis are getting high and stoned and that the whole Republic is stoned, The High Republic. Anyways, that's not what I'm talking about. But um, so we know that a few weeks, maybe months now, they released uh, this new idea of this whole new universe known as Star Wars High Republic. And... I kind of really wanted it to be and was hoping that it would be somewhere similar to Knights of the Old Republic, which actually took about a thousand, I think it was a thousand years before uh, the events of uh, Skywalker. Unfortunately, it looks like High Republic, from my understanding, is just about 200 years. So that's like nothing. We could still see Yoda the way Yoda is, and he wouldn't change that much because Yoda's 900 years. So that's nothing. I really wish it had gone back to that. But anyways, I'm not going to judge it until I start seeing more and more stuff and they recently released a look sort of a first look of the new jedi knights which are kind of cool i mean the outfits they kind of um are wearing look somewhat uh i guess kind of knights of the round table which is what i was hoping for just with a little bit more armor so if you're a fan of the game star wars knights of the old republic you know what i'm talking about they wore more uh sort of medieval style jedi robes and and armor and gear which was kind of cool these look a little bit more i guess you could say like the predated robes that jedis wear but i'm going through the images and the list just to get a little bit of understanding about who's who like this avar of our actually we don't even know how to pronounce these names but i'm going to say her name is avar chris or avar chris um who is one of the brightest and most noble example of jedi hood hmm, okay well she looks pretty cool um, the next one I like is, uh, I don't even know if this is, again, the right name, Loden Greatstorm. Actually, well, the last name is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Greatstorm, and uh, she's a Twi'lek Jedi Master, considered to be one of the best teachers in the Jedi Order. Strong and wise. All right, cool, with a sense of humor. Nice. Uh, I don't even know how to say this name. <laughs> I think it's like Kaveen Trinis, Trinis, whatever. A young firebrand Jedi hmm. with a good future ahead of herself. Now, here we get to the one that I'm just kind of thinking to myself. This kind of looks like Keanu Reeves. And his name, of course, because it has my name in it, is Stellan Geos. Mm -hmm. Stellan Geos is an optimistic and well-respected Jedi master. Okay, Stellan comes up through the order. Uh, oh, sorry, came up through the order with Avar Chris. Of our Chris, whatever. Um, so anyways, but as soon as the first thing I saw and noticed about this is even though his robes looks like something the Pope would have worn back in the day. Actually, it does look very sort of Pope-ish. Um, is that he looks somewhat like Keanu Reeves. And there's been these rumors that either they're pushing for Keanu or that he is actually going to be a part of this new Star Wars series. And if this... High Republic is going to be sort of the next universe that we explore in the Star Wars um, a new trilogy or whatever, then, okay, this guy totally looks like Keanu Reeves. Um, but the other thing that really, really kind of stood out for me was his lightsaber. If you happen to see an image of this character, his lightsaber has sort of a medieval sword look uh, to it. It's like Kylo Ren, but instead of it, you know, the sides are not laser beams. It's actually like the, the, the hilt of, a, of an actual sword. Um, and I think his is the only costume, to be honest, that I really enjoyed that wasn't too, you know, although they all look like they're wearing the same. Um, his was a lot more, okay, this looks kind of cool. I can buy this. Um, and, of course, and moving on, we have another character, which – Immediately when I saw her name, I thought of Madame Vastra from Doctor Who because her name is Vernestra or Vern, uh, Rowau or Rao, whatever. Um, newly minted Jedi Knight. Uh, and actually, she does look 
green. So I think that's why I just saw and thought, oh, look, it's young Vastra. Or to be honest, she looks like Vastra and Jenny's love child. Like if they both had a kid, she would look like this character, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And I thought she might have been a Padawan learner, but she's not. But anyways, she is one of the youngest knights, 16 years old. Pretty cool. Um, and that's all that they kind of announced. And I also think that I saw a little bit about a uh, some form of Chewbacca-esque Jedi Knight, a Wookiee. So I hope that's true because it would be cool to see Wookiees, you know, besides what we've seen only in the last few movies where they're kind of just warriors and Chewbacca. But to see one as a Jedi Knight, I think would be cool. Um, he might be just a little bit too big, maybe, as to be able to bounce around like Yoda did in Attack of the Clones. But it would be cool to see a Jedi uh, Wookiee. Anyway, I'm hoping that maybe this is the way they're going because I really, 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 really want a Knights of the Old Republic movie series. Um, just because I can see the style being very much in line with like King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, right? Where they're, like I said, they're, they're Jedi robes are not necessarily robes, but more armor. And the lightsabers are more metallic looking, more, again, like, like the Knights of the Round Table. And a kind of that sort of look and, you know, some kind of evil villain. Now, I, I think from what I understand of this New High Republic is that there's criminals and pirates and stuff like that. So I'm not really 100% sure what the big baddie is, you know, um, or with regards to like the Sith and all that stuff. So... I don't know where this is going, but I'm kind of excited. I just, you know, unfortunately, there's not that much that I'm jumping up and down for. Um, I did when the rumors came out that there was supposed to be maybe a Knights of the Old Republic type movie. Because, again, that's really I, – I, okay, I'll be honest. I haven't played the game in 100%. I have played it, but not that much. Um, I instead downloaded a movie that someone made from all the scenes, and I liked it. I've actually followed it and said, okay, this would be a really great series. And I thought, hmm, maybe this is what they're going to do. And the rumors were originally, I think, that they were going to kind of focus on that era, kind of moving it away as far as they could from, you know, the Skywalker saga. But 200 years, I mean, that's like nothing. Um, 200 years is, yeah, that's not enough. I wish it would have actually gone back 1,000 years like way, way back in the day where maybe the Jedi are uh, born. You know, we see where this whole idea of Jedis came from and maybe even see the planet Jeda, you know, that we were introduced to in Rogue One. Uh, but that's me. I like origin stories and I like to see, like, once something's established, I love to be able to go back and see, well, how did they get there? So for me, I always like episodes of Star Trek or Doctor Who where they make references to an event of the past or we see how something from the past influenced, you know, the present. Um, so it's kind of like the last series of Doctor Who. I did enjoy the fact that they went really way back to show how a lot of what we know now as Doctor Who kind of happened. Um, even though there's a lot of, I guess, division in the fan base now with regards to all that. But, hey, we're going to wait until next season to see if we get more answers. And this has nothing to do with Star Wars, but it just got creeped in there. So, anyways, that's all I have for this segment. Hopefully, I will have more fun stuff to talk about uh, because it's just really sad that so many things are being shut down that like, again, I'm still upset about Ghostbusters, you know, now waiting another year for it to be released. I could be dead. I mean, who knows? The world could be in utter chaos and we'd all miss out on Ghostbusters. I wish they would have at least done it digitally. Maybe I don't know. And then re-released it. Cause I would have seen it both times. That's all I have. So stay safe. Don't be an idiot. Don't go out there and do something stupid that might affect you and your entire family. If you're listening to this, you may be a fan of zombie movies, so you know how it all begins. So stay safe, wash your hands, and if you're going to cough, cough into your sleep. Okay.